All right, Tom, and, uh, you know, they're talking about pitching, Mike, and obviously it's all about the pitching, and the Orioles starters have struggled with consistency on the year. But all of a sudden, Wade Miley has quietly turned his season around. His last seven starts have been outstanding. What is he doing different? Is he doing anything different that's enabled him to find it? Well, I'll tell you what. Noticeably here, I think the last three starts, he's kind of slowing himself down a little bit. And Wade Miley has an up-tempo uh, delivery and really kind of gets ahead of himself sometimes. And I think that's a big problem for Miley. And, and hence the uh, amount of pitches he has to throw at times. But he's been more consistent here recently, and he said himself, he's just around the plate a little bit more here uh, since the All-Star break. So, you know, I think that's the key for Wade Miley. He's got to get ahead early, and he's got to stay ahead. I mean, let's go. Get, pound the strike zone with his stuff. He's got great action things moving into right-handed hitters. He's going to be aggressive once again on that inner third, but he's got to be more consistent early and get this team, this Indians team, into swing mode. And if he can get him into swing mode early, it should be a better outing for Wade Miley. And uh, Manny Machado is going to stay busy and Beckham over on the left side of the infield. Should be a lot of ground ball work off the uh, from Wade Miley. If he keeps it down in the zone, keeps working in there. He is relentless, but the key is, I think, stealing that first strike. The slow curve's right. coming to play here recently for Miley. Yeah, he hasn't had uh, much trouble getting ahead of hitters, but then he becomes Mr. Nibbles, and before you know it, it's 3-2, and two, and you mentioned the breaking ball. That's become a very effective pitch for him. It, it sure has, and I think uh, a lot of the uh, Oriole pitchers have really changed the second half by using more of their secondary pitches, and especially early in counts to steal strikes and actually get into the count, and that'll help the fastball play up a little bit. Might get some swing and misses uh, on the fastball if it rides up and out of the zone, but Miley's game primarily is work that inner third. He likes to work in off the plate. He throws the four-seam fastball in there. He'll cut it and then have a little tilt on the slider. And it's a matter, can he command those pitches? Can he get it close enough to get the Tribe to start swinging the bat? Now, as for the Orioles tonight, of course, game one of a 10-game road trip. And really, the Orioles have turned it around on the road. Overall, not the record they would like, but they're doing it with the bats. And that's why they're contending. You see, on the road since the All-Star break, the Orioles are tied with Kansas City for the best batting average in the American League. The runners in scoring position, of course, way up there second. Uh, the OPS is third, runs per game is third, and the hits per game is second. And, Mike, the Orioles are now second overall in team batting in the American League. And, really, it's the bats that has kept this team in contention. Now they got to figure out a way to get through Cleveland here before they get back to Toronto. Yeah, absolutely. It's nice to see the bats picking it up. And, actually, the second half, I think the Orioles have played much more consistently all the way around. But Manny Machado's back coming to life uh, the beginning of July really set the tone, I think, for this offense in the second half of the season. Then you add Beckham into the lineup at a monster August, and of course Jonathan Scope staying hot, and Adam Jones as well. So those four guys really put the numbers up through August, and they're hoping to stay consistent through the month of September, but offensively, you know, scoring over five runs per game, boy, that should be enough, but uh, give this team a chance. I think that mm -hmm. is the key here down the stretch, and when you talk about Wade Miley, get five innings out of him. You know, keep it close. He said his last seven starts, he hasn't given up more than three runs. So that's a plus for Miley and this team. You want to get to the back end of the bullpen. Obviously, that's the goal. But the offense, if they feel like they've got a chance, we've seen them rise to the occasion a number of times. All right, so game one of the three-game weekend series, Tom and Rick, there's a hint of autumn in the air tonight. Temperature's going to dip into the 50s by game time. Let's send it back to you.